Depending on where you live, today brought either freezing rain or even more snow. As you've seen, road crews were out last night and this morning pushing that snow and salting roadways. WYMT's Matthew Rand joins us now live here in Perry County with a look at the road conditions now. Matt? Hi, Steve. Yeah, I'm standing here in Hazard across from Kentucky 15 in the Hazard Bypass, where all day it has been coming down with this cold, icy, cold, uh, not snow, but in fact rain. And that rain uh, is uh, affecting the snow that we already had on the ground. That's giving way to slush and lots and lots of water out on the roadways. The transportation officials tell me that actually helped them uh, keep the roads clear today, uh, preventing ice from forming on those roads this morning. State highway crews worked through the night and into Saturday, prepping roads for a wintry mix of snow and ice. We were kind of concerned about uh, freezing rain, freezing solid, and that's when, you know, black, black ice forms, and, and that's the most dangerous. Transportation officials say another concern was ice developing on trees. They say it doesn't take much to knock branches into the roadway. Fortunately, at least here in Perry County, that wasn't much of a problem. Road crews spent the day Saturday scraping slush and spreading salt. This where the temperature was warmer, the salt and stuff brought the ice off the road pretty quick. The biggest road problem in Perry County, officials say, was melted snow and rainwater pooling on the roadways. With the berms on the side of the road where you've already scraped it, it has nowhere to go besides back onto the highway. This week's winter storm wreaked havoc on the mountains, but as far as roads are concerned, the worst is over. Actually, our crew's done excellent, in my opinion. I, well, they, you know, they've been out there fighting, and uh, that's that's what they do, and that's what they train for, and they work real hard, and you know, we'll continue to do that until everything clears up. As the ice continues to melt, highway officials say they will keep an eye out for rock slides and flooding issues, and will treat roads again as needed. And transportation officials here in Perry County tell me they dodged a bullet, especially when compared to spots along the Tennessee and Virginia borders that saw up to a foot of snow fall overnight. Live in Perry County, Matthew Rand, WYMT Mountain News. Steve, back to you.